Ask me now about my two spiritual awakenings. Um, not just one, I got to experience it twice. Except the first time, which was when I was 16, I was put to back to sleep again. And I lived a life in illusion for 12 years until I woke up again for real this time, three years ago in 2017. Now, why is this such an important and valuable experience to share? For so many reasons. Oh my God. But um, let's, let's get into a little bit. I wanna speak about the second awakening and the realization of what I am truly and what I'm not, which is in this case, we're gonna talk about my mind a little bit. I'm not my mind. So, when I awakened the second time, I had the full self-realization of what I am, which is the pure consciousness, the pure knowing, the pure aware being, which is not located somewhere in the head that nobody has ever found. Consciousness is everything and everywhere. It is who we are truly. We are the knowing presence that which is hearing these words, seeing this video, that is what we are. And that, there can only be one of. And so that's why it is love itself, because it is the dis dissolution of the illusion that there is a me and a not me, a me and somebody else. The illusion of separation. When that dissolves, that's the experience of love. But that experience arises within you. We could say the experience of happiness arises within you. It's not something that is external. In fact, there is no such thing as the external world anyway. 
but that's the illusion because the happiness that we are always after no matter what is always within us eternally forever and ever never beginning and never ending that's timeless eternity is now and so this self-realization that I had if I can't even say that I had it because who had it it's the awareness that had it it's the consciousness that had it but um, what I could say I experienced was a transition really a transition from seeing the world through the eyes of rose-colored glasses and then they came off and I could see the world clearly that's what we can say. It's a little closer, not perfect. And so I realized that I thought that I was a body, but instead I'm the awareness that is aware of the body, the mind, the world, everything that appears, appears within consciousness. And it's made out of it too, which is interesting. And that dissolution was the experience of heaven. Complete heaven, no other drug on the planet can do for you what you can already do by yourself. Nothing can compare to that, the realization of the I am presence. All that is needed is the, um, the willpower to really see it. So now let's talk about what veils the truth of it. Well, it's called the Maya, the illusion. And that illusion is because of the mind, the programmable yapping entity, we could call it, it's not even nothing it's just a habit really it the mind is a program the mind can be conditioned in any such way to believe just about anything really but our beliefs good or bad whatever they are helpful or not helpful they they come to us from day one of our birth. We are born, and whatever it is that our parents believe about themselves and about the world, whatever it is, that starts to become your belief system, your reality. Your reality will manifest itself based off of those belief systems. So what I realized was all kinds of subconscious demons that were coming up. Madness. Just total madness. And I was like, what is going on? That is not me. That is, that is, what? What are these thoughts? What are these feelings? Oh my God. It was insanity that I was experiencing. And it threw me off. Way threw me off. For a long, for a while. Until I realized, oh wait a second. Something's not adding up right. These thoughts are, they're appearing. I'm not thinking them, I'm not doing something. These thoughts are appearing. What I started to realize was that I've never ever actually chosen a thought. I used to think that I thought this, I thought that, I thought this, I thought that. I was an entity that thought, that thinks, no. Thoughts appear based off of how our minds are conditioned, trained to think since birth about ourselves and about the world. Try it. It's actually very trippy. Sit down, take some time to meditate. Just clear your mind and you'll notice a thought will come in and you will, you will think 
for a second, you'll just, you'll take that as yours. You'll be like, that's, you won't even consider what I'm saying here. You'll just be like, you'll just think of it as second nature. It's just, yeah, but then keep doing it. Keep quieting your mind and watch it. Watch as the thought appears. It'll come in again and again. And eventually you'll realize, wait, where did that thought come from? That's out of left field. The circus is in town? What? Something completely random will come in. You'll be like, where did that thought even come from? Well, now you're starting to realize that the mind, which has become such a problem for many because it runs, it runs the show. I mean, it runs, it's running this world in, in so many ways. And it's not even who you truly are. It's just a program that's been installed in you since birth. And most people, I don't know about most people, many people are not even aware of that. Running their lives, running around like a chicken with their heads cut off. Looking for something. <laughs> what is it? It's right here. It's right now. There it is. <laughs> here it is. Now it is. Now plus here equals nowhere. Everything that takes place takes place in this nowhere, nothingness. It's empty awareness. Sit and realize that and you'll experience heaven too. We need nothing from the world. We need nothing. We have everything that is truly important. Everything that is really worth longing for. Is already within us. So what I realized was all of my patterns, habits, ways of thinking were hijacked at the very beginning of this life experience. And so my life played out a certain way, except becoming aware of this, now you have the power to begin to change it. You realize that your actions are a product of how you're thinking. Same with how you're feeling. That is a product of how you're thinking. There's a strong connection between the emotions and our thinking. We can think ourselves into a tremendously amazing mood or the opposite. That has an effect on our health. And so if others are in our minds, I think we all have two parent parts within us, within our minds, that are always saying this or this or this, because we've been so accustomed to, to that. We pick up our parents' stuff from the beginning. And so we can start to notice that and realize, oh, that's not me. Hey, if I'm, if I'm heaven, if I'm bliss, those self-defeating thoughts, those hateful thoughts of somebody else, where did that come from? That's not me. So in this way, we start to realize not just that I'm not my mind, that I'm not my thoughts, but also what I truly am. stillness, the quiet peacefulness, that which never resists anything. Knowing this and integrating this truth into your being, which is to embody it, is the most self-empowering, beautiful, loving 
thing anyone can do because it means we are taking our power back. So many have felt it has take, been taken away by the government or by this person or that person. It's really just, it's really just our parents. We think that we're powerless to our parents because it appeared that way when we were children. When we were powerless, we had to do whatever they said. Otherwise, it meant we wouldn't survive to our minds. But now it's time to realize the truth of it. There is no real right way or wrong way to do things. But to be conscious is to know that everything outside of us is an extension of ourselves. Knowing that, who would hurt somebody else? No one would ever intend to do any harm. But the problem was that our, our folks got into our heads too much and made us believe to our very core, almost, not to our very core because our core can never be touched, but almost, that if we acted wrong, acted out, even made a fuss in public, we would be shamed or we would be not fed, not housed, we'd be kicked out. These are our, our fears. This is how neuroses gets developed at a young age. To have seen it in myself and to have seen it in others is a tremendous gift because the truth the truth that we are love itself, we are the aware presence. That is the key to the kingdom of heaven. So take a few minutes, sit down, quiet your mind and just experiment with this. Just watch as your mind, the thought, thoughts will come in, thoughts will enter. Sometimes very unwanted thoughts, even the so-called negative ones, let those come in. Train yourself. Train yourself to abide as the love that you are. And watch as those thoughts lose their power over you. The feelings will subside as well, more and more and more as you commit to it. But just the very experience of, oh my gosh, I didn't even think that thought. You'll laugh. <laughs> You'll be like, oh my God, life is so trippy. This is so bizarre. I can't believe I never noticed that. Because when you start to focus on a thought, a similar thought comes in. That's how law of attraction works. And then you start to build emotional momentum. And it can go this way, and it can go this way. Everyone, whatever you believe, you always have a choice of which way it can go. There's this illusion that we are forced or have to do something, that we are controlled. That's never the case. Every single being has free will to choose how they think, how they feel, ultimately, and how they act on that. Feelings may arise and that might be out of your control, but how you respond and how you, which, the kind of energy that you give to those thoughts or feelings, whether you let them take over you whether you suppress them or whether you stay completely open and just say, I'm love anyway. That's always a choice. Choose wisely because we create our realities based off of our choices. It is my sincere wish 
that this message finds you and that you see it for yourself. No one can see it but you. So I want to leave you with this final message for today, which is simply, I'm here to, to share my experiences, which are deep. And I hope to empower others. I want you to see what I see. So, the title of this video, Ask Me Now. Ask me any question you would like to know about spiritual concepts, things, about self-healing work, mind, anything you'd like, anything personal, and I will address it in videos. You can also reach out to me and we can do a private session and we can talk about the truth of non-duality or Advaita, which is the realization I am consciousness. So anything you ask, leave it in the comments or send me a private message on Instagram at Scotty Bramer and I will address it. Ask me now, ask me anything you like. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.